it's robustly written and created. So much was done before movies were made. In regards to the written word, Tolkien wrote languages that are, that are translatable and speakable. And I think that kind of gets your imagination going and you can read so much material that exists to imagine that world and to, to imagine playing in that world. The idea of escaping into a world where you can adventure and pit yourself against this absolute darkness and, and win. It's a refreshing escape, I think, from the grayness of reality. It has been 20 long, prosperous, peaceful years since the end of the War of the Ring. We have entered the Age of Men. Give me an explore check from everyone. You found something, a scrap of parchment. Written on this parchment were symbols. No language that you have ever seen. Do you recognize these in your long life? I'm pretty good at puzzles. Uh, riddle, maybe? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> that is a terrible roll. When the party gets to Rivendell, they're going to get to interact with Queen Arwen. They can't come with you, but there is a song. It's protected my family for generations. And perhaps now on your journey, it might protect you. I think post Lord of the Rings, it still feels like it's still rife with story and that there may be more. The reason it continues to capture people's imagination and why they'd want to play in that universe in D&D style games is because it's rich. It's just so rich and it feels real. It feels like it may have existed. I see a man flesh. That's actually my line. <laughs>